The House Oversight Committee issuing subpoenas to several major banks seeking financial records as part of their ongoing probe into Hunter Biden's overseas business dealings. The subpoenas were issued to Bank of America, J.P. Morgan Chase, HSBC Bank, along with Cathay Bank, which is based in Los Angeles's Chinatown. Monica Crowley served as Assistant Treasury Secretary under former President Trump, and she joins us now. Monica, good morning to you. Good morning and a happy Easter. Happy Easter to you as well. Um, tell me the significance in your estimation of what the House has begun to investigate with the Bidens. Yeah, so since President Biden entered office, there have been numerous requests by uh, Republicans to try to gain control or, or access to the suspicious activities reports that the Yellen Treasury Department was stonewalling and holding back. Since the GOP gained control of Congress, they've had subpoena power. So not only do they now have access to what looks like upwards of 250 suspicious activities reports generated by banks to the Treasury Department to raise flags on whether or not there was illegal or any kind of suspicious activity with those foreign transactions. But now you've got the House moving on the banks. Now, these are considered friendly subpoenas, meaning that these financial institutions actually asked for the subpoenas because then they will be forced to, to turn it over. So these banks now are going to be turning over bank records for not just Joe Biden, but Hunter Biden and the entire Biden family. And we're going to be able to see in pretty short order whether or not there were these financial business transactions that have put America's national security at risk. Will we see that, Monica? Is this the beginning? Is this the end? Will, will we have clarity or it just be even more confusing and provide the Biden some sense of plausible deniability. I'm very curious what we will actually see. Yeah. So the House Republicans, this is just the beginning of their investigation. And because the corruption with the Biden crime family runs so deep, it may be a while for the House Republicans and their investigation to really excavate the depth of what's gone on here. But what we know so far from what's been detailed and disclosed is that these transactions were not just geared toward enriching the Biden family, which of course they were, but a lot of these transactions that we know about so far were actually also designed to help the CCP advance their strategic and military interests. We're talking about billions of dollars in some of these uh, financial dealings that Hunter Biden was coordinating. So it's not just about their personal enrichment, well, no, but it's don't. also about helping the CCP achieve their goal of, by 2025, economic dominance in the world, supplanting the United States, and by 2030, matching the U.S. military. Yeah, you don't, you don't buy something for nothing. Exactly the, the right. The payments would certainly be understood to be in pursuit of some quid pro quo, some objective, some, some goal for China. I want to ask you about this while I have you, though. Uh, there's been this classified document leak in the last, it's been about the last 24 hours. It's appeared on Twitter. Um, it's detailed a ton of American national security interest in Ukraine, uh, casualties in Russia, American spying operations. When you look at this, tell me in your estimation the significance of it and also whose interest, where would this be coming from? Yeah, it, it's a very interesting leak because it does look like it's an inside job. It's actually photographs of existing documents. So it looks like somebody with access to these documents in the Pentagon's intelligence wing took photographs and then leaked it. Now, the Pentagon says that they're engaged in a deep dive to try to locate the, the source of this leak. I guess all of a sudden now they're, they're interested in leakers. I mean, we've had the Pentagon papers over the years. We've had... Um, uh, you know, Julian Assange with uh, got access to it and published it. He's been punished. But these kinds of secrets, we're going to have to see what they really disclose. But one of the interesting points about this is that it shows that Russia has been having a difficult time in Ukraine, right? So you have to look to the motive of someone leaking this information. Is it someone who is trying to continue the war, war in Ukraine, continue U.S. support for the war in Ukraine, trying to create the argument that Ukraine is, in fact, uh, winning this war. And so we've got to continue our support to make sure that we defeat Russia or Ukraine defeats Russia. So always take a look at, you know, go, go back one or two steps to try to see the motive of someone who might leak this kind of information. In the world of disinformation and deep fakes and everything, you're exactly, I don't know, I don't know what's real and, and whose interest everything serves, but um, it seems to be something significant happened when it comes to these leaks. Yep. Uh, certainly something significant beginning when it comes to the investigation of the Bidens. Monica, yes. thank you so much. Always a pleasure. Thanks, Will.
I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.